One healthy one on scholarship, so I guess we've settled on him. <laughs> or Cole, I guess, one of those two. Yeah. So yeah. Second day went well. It's good. Okay. Yeah, okay. that was good. Well, no, I mean you just uh, we're installing the defense is installing. Biggest thing is, you know, our guys um, flying around. Like I said, with great body language and attitude. Um, I just think they're doing that. You know, having fun being out here. So that's probably the most important thing. You know, are, are we polished by any means? No. You know, we're making lots of mistakes, but I think the guys are doing it with energy and enthusiasm. That's all you can ask. You know? So. Coach, can you talk a little bit about, you know, it's only a couple of practices in, but can you just talk about, do you think you've set a good pace for the spring as far as mm, practice? I think so. I mean, it's, of course, I'm the one that sets it, so I'm going to think it's pretty good. <laughs> kind of be bad if I set it and then it wasn't very good. You know, so, I mean, what you really want is you want to test your players to be able to function when they're tired. That's really what you're trying to do. How do you function when you're you know, tired and mentally fatigued to where you can still function and play. Otherwise, it's part of the process is, you know, getting that out of your players. And uh, there's no reason to go no huddle if you can't do it better than they do it and be in better shape. So we're not there yet, obviously. So, But, uh, but I think the pace has been good. We try to keep up with the clock. You know, are we getting the plays in based on where our clock is at? Not trying to rush, but just trying to get our plays in. Of what I guess I've been used to at Oklahoma State, I can't speak to other places that do it, so I can't say whether we're too slow or too fast based on what other people would do. But for us, we're going pretty good clip. And you mentioned just early on the effort and everything. I mean, you know, do you, when do y'all kind of start to maybe get more to the X's and O's and maybe install things and everything? Are y'all already doing that? It's already done. I mean, we're on in, install day two, and tomorrow will be three, and we'll have 80% of our stuff in. So what our concepts are, now we won't be any good at it, but it'll be in. And, uh, you know, this is something that I got when I went to Oklahoma State about the three-day install. So we went on a one day. Everything was new today. There was no carryover, and then tomorrow is, is new, and then we repeat it. And I, I really like that. I didn't, I didn't make that up. Somebody else was doing that. And I liked it. Our guys could focus on what was in today. Um, and then when you come to a scrimmage, you put it all together. So, and if you get certain situations of third down or red zone, score zone, you're doing that. So, but um, you know our guys are scrambling. But um, I think that they, uh, you know, our defense is probably ahead because mistakes, you know, don't appear on the surface as much when you're defensively. The mistakes you make on offense really, really, you get exposed. It seems like that's usually the case early on. You know, oh, yeah. defense is ahead of the offense. It is. Well, it's not even really that they're ahead. It's just the mistakes aren't as glaring. It just takes a mistake up front and you can't do anything. I mean, it starts with those guys in the backs. So if they're not tied in together, which is, you know, the most important thing we do is having those five guys tied in together, then you can't do anything. It doesn't matter what else you're doing. So that's why it's – that's why it's – everybody's still probably at the same pace. It just – mistakes – just show itself a lot more on the offensive side, and um, and again, I don't want to speak for the defense. Maybe they're maybe they're doing a great job. I don't know, but uh, you know, it's just the way it is. So, anything else? That's it.